Hey guys, this is Goronator here. I told you I'll be doing a Christmas q and I know I'm a little bit late, but that's what we're doing today. So, let's jump into the questions. The first question is from Kate saying, can you say the alphabet backwards? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now, if you, future Josh, could, when editing this, just reverse that clip, that would be... Much appreciated. There you go. Easy. Speaking of my future self, there's another question from Kate who says, if you could ask your future self one question, what would it be? It would be future Josh, if you listen right now. Why the fuck aren't you editing this Q&A? Like, stop procrastinating on YouTube and Twitter and fucking get the video done, mate. Come on. We need that bare ad revenue. Why so much loving says, will you do a new setup tour? I can see you got a new desk. Um, it's not really changed much from my last and only setup tour that I've done. I'll definitely do a setup tour at some point in the near future, but I do want to wait to actually change things up a bit more. And I don't know where you got the impression that I have a new desk. I've had this desk for ages since my first setup tour. That, that was the same desk then. Uh, it may be just because you can see this like kind of side corner bit you think it looks a bit different but no still the same ikea bought desk uh but yes to answer your question i will do a setup tour soon when i change up my setup which i do plan on doing um so i'll definitely show you guys when i do that bobzilla asks what's your favorite food in the christmas period i like all the christmas food like uh, like a christmas roast dinner as a whole is just Beautiful. Casey nice that okay hand there. J just looking at the r Christmas roast itself, you know, the stereotypical British Christmas roast. I obviously don't know what you guys in other countries eat for Christmas. Probably pigs in blankets because we don't really have that any other time of the year. And it's just two amazing foods, sausages and bacon together. So uh, they're, they're pretty goddamn nice. Bobzilla also asks, what has been your favorite Christmas present you have ever received in all of your life? That is a very good question. Um, I consider myself very fortunate with some of the stuff that my parents have bought me. Um, I try not to take it for granted too much, although I'm pretty sure we all do take, you know, the stuff that we get given for granted, uh, especially at Christmas time. I don't know. I did get the Xbox One a couple years ago. That was pretty good going. Yeah, there's nothing else that really particularly stands out to me. I'm sure I've had loads of really awesome stuff throughout the years. But yeah, I have to say Xbox One then. That was a pretty goddamn nice Christmas present, especially considering how expensive it was on launch. Fucking hell. The next question is from Dilly Buster, who says, Why don't you upload 20 videos a day? P.S. Subscribe to me YouTube channel, please. Why don't I upload 20 videos a day? Obviously, he's joking with that question, I hope. But the reason I and a lot of creators don't upload as often as maybe viewers would like to, to take this on a more serious route, is because it takes a bloody long time when you actually put effort into the content you're making. Most of my videos take between five to eight hours to create. Some, obviously, a bit less than that. Like this video, for example, Q&As are pretty easy to make, so that's why, you know, a lot of people make them. But if you take my Christmas camping vlog, for example, as I mentioned in the last Calls of recap I did, that took me, I wasn't specifically counting, but just roughly adding up the amount of hours I was sat editing that thing, it was anywhere from like 15 to 20 hours making that video, which is a very long time, so that's why, you know, if a YouTuber doesn't upload very often, it may not necessarily be because they're lazy, especially if you look at their content and see that they make some really good stuff that they clearly put time and effort in. It's probably because it takes a bloody long time to create. So try not to pester them too much about their upload schedule, unless, of course, they are being blatant, lazy bastards. Mental Case asks, what is the one thing you want for Christmas and why? Well, Christmas has kind of already past so sorry about that mental case this is the main present i wanted but as i said main thing i could do now as shown in the gauzy recap i can recline it which is pretty cool because if i want to watch a film or something i don't have to sit up all day you know like perfectly straight back even though it's good posture you know after you've been editing all day and then you just want to kind of relax a bit it's nice to be able to tilt it back so that's the main reason i got it so yeah i think that answers that even though Christmas has already passed. Sorry about that. I did mean to record this Q&A sooner than, well, I am 
now. Josh, or Grub as you guys will know him on the channel, says, Who is your favourite worm? Relating to an upcoming Funny Moments video, um, which was a lot of fun to record. I really do hope you guys do enjoy it when I get around to editing that. Although that'll be a while yet, but don't worry, you'll definitely know which funny moments I'm talking about when, uh, when it comes to it, because, well... Just think of the word worm, and um, you'll know which one I'm referring to. But you, Josh, obviously, are my favourite worm. Who else? Penguin Lover asks, for the Q&A, Burger King or McDonald's? I personally prefer McDonald's. Um, I'd say Burger King make a better kind of normal burger, if that makes sense. Like, if you compare the Whopper to McDonald's's hamburger, I'd say the Whopper is a hell of a lot better, um, but for overall, for the stuff you get at McDonald's, like the fries and the shakes and everything else, I kind of prefer McDonald's. That'll probably piss a lot of people off, but I don't care. Chicken nuggets for the win, man. <laughs> also, any games you plan on getting or excited for? Well, Christmas has passed. I did not get any games for Christmas because, to be honest, I didn't want any. 2016 has been pretty shit for AAA games. Like, a few good ones came out towards the end of the year. Um, in November, we had Battlefield 1 and Dishonored 2, which are both pretty goddamn decent. Battlefield 1 especially, I'm really enjoying. Obviously, as you can see with all the funny moments videos coming out. But yes, there are a few games I plan on getting. I have made, like, a little list because... What I'm thinking of doing, um, kind of towards the end of the year, um, so soon, is some sort of kind of video where I talk about the games that I really liked from this year and also the games that I'm excited for coming out next year. So I can give you a brief rundown of some of the games I've got wrote down that I'm really excited for in 2017. Um, Prey, that is a really cool looking game if you haven't, I, I don't know how to describe it, kind of like Bioshock-esque and I love the Bioshock games. Um, I don't know, it looks really fucking cool so I, I'm Really looking forward to that coming out. Horizon Zero Dawn, God of War, um, and Detroit Become Human. They're all PS4 exclusives, unfortunately. But they, all, all three of those games look really cool. So I'm tempted to get a PS4 in 2017 to play those games. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see. wait for the games to come out and see kind of what the reviews are like. Um, so yeah, those are the three exclusives that I really wish were on like PC or Xbox so I could get them without having to buy uh, another £200 console. Um, and the final one on my list is... Oh no, two more on my list. I've got Escape from Takarov, which is that kind of really realistic FPS survival shooter on the PC, which is in, like, alpha at the moment. I don't know if that's coming out in 2017. I just put that on the list. Um, but that looks really cool, so um, I'm keeping my eye on that. And um, also for Honor, that Viking game that Ubisoft is making. Uh, oh, I say Viking game. That, that's the faction I want to play as. There's three factions, Viking, Samurai, and Knights. Um, that looks like a really cool game. There's a beta coming up for that very soon, so I'm... Hoping to get in that and get some gameplay for you guys. But yeah, that's another game I've got my eye on. Fatal Onion has two questions. The first of which is, what do you do to stay motivated with YouTube? Very good question. I'm pretty sure every YouTuber, big or small, gets demotivated at some point. Whether that be due to, you know, like analytics being down. Or them getting bored of the content they're making. Or they don't know what to make next. Or maybe even to do with like haters. Or people just telling them they're wasting their time. Stuff along those lines. There's loads of different factors which can obviously cause you to be demotivated when making content. I stay motivated by one, not worrying about the analytics too much. I don't really do it to get views like if I did I'd be making drama videos and stuff like that on trending topics <laughs> um, as opposed to like funny moments or you know more kind of let's play style content which obviously gets uh, everybody does that although I do try to put my own creative twist on it you know it, it's a lot harder to stand out and it's not very searchable. That's one way to stay motivated is just try not to look at the analytics too much or at least not worry about it when, you know, your videos don't do as well or you get or you don't gain as many subscribers in a month. The other thing that I do is just make the content I want to make. Like, I won't make a video if I don't want to make it as I, that, that kind of relates to the analytics thing, right? Um, I only make the videos that I have fun creating, which means I'm only having fun doing YouTube. Like, I, I don't find it a drag, I don't find it boring um, having to slave away and make content because I'm always having fun creating the content because I want to make it and I want to share it with you guys. If I was making videos 
mainly or just solely to get views that I didn't have fun creating, then yeah, I'd get demotivated a hell of a lot quicker. And I guess another reason is because all you guys leave loads of amazing comments and feedback and you like the videos and you share them, which of course is another just it's a it's a incentive to keep making content and keep sharing stuff with you guys and interacting with you so thank you everybody for that and his second question is have you learned anything from doing youtube yes fatal onion definitely the first thing is to not take yourself too seriously if you can't laugh at yourself then well you're gonna have a hard time doing youtube when you grow a bit and you know hate starts coming in uh you, you gotta learn to you know be able to laugh at yourself and not worry what other people think of you because otherwise, you know, all the haters will just completely crush you. Even though I don't get that many, um, you know, that's one thing you definitely learn, which obviously relates then into real life is to not worry about what other people say on the street think of you like complete strangers or what, you know, people that you don't like are thinking of you. It's also made me a hell of a lot more confident, which is brilliant. Like, I'm pretty sure I've used this example before, but giving presentations in class back in secondary school, I could not do that in front of the whole class. Like, I would shake and I'll be so fucking nervous, but now I can stand in front of a class and um, do, like, a, a five, ten minute presentation and not really care too much. Like, it doesn't bother me. So, um, that's another really benefit of me commentating and of me making YouTube videos. I've obviously learned how to edit both video and audio, um, how to, like, kind of set up a camera and make a half-decent shot. Um, I've learned how to commentate. You know, all these different skills that I've picked up from doing YouTube is really cool. I've also learned a lot to do with kind of analytics, like more behind the scenes, like how to make videos more searchable, how to make, you know, metadata better. That's basically like the tags, title, description, thumbnails, stuff like that. Oh, graphics design, that's another one. I've obviously been making my own thumbnails and logos and banners for ages now, so I've learned a whole bunch of stuff. It's, teach it's taught me loads of stuff, so yeah, it it's good. I'm glad I got into YouTube. It's great. Scuzzy asks, what is the most embarrassing thing you have ever done? Now, Scuzzy, I'm pretty sure you've asked me this question before on a Gorset Recap, I think. Um, I can't remember what answer I gave, because obviously everybody goes through embarrassing moments in life um, at various stages, some more than others, but a more recent one that sticks out in my mind, and by recent, I mean, like, maybe... A week ago, don't, don't you dare say that meme, about a week ago, a week, fuck off, that's really old. Anyway, back on topic, so the most embarrassing thing that happened recently, we just got back from the camping trip, I was around Josh's house and I was getting picked up by my parents. Now don't ask why, but Josh gave me and the other people that went camping, the other Josh and Sean, uh, two condoms each, because he had some left, alright? Like I said, don't ask why. <laughs> yeah, he had six condoms, he gave two to me two to Sean, and two to Chip. Now I kept mine, obviously, like, that, that's pretty handy. It means I don't have to go out and buy them now when I do eventually need to use them. It's a kind of an awkward subject, and it let's move on. So anyway, as I said, my parents picked me up. Well, my mum and my sister were in the car. I was putting stuff in the boot of the car, so obviously they could hear what I said and what anybody else said because the boot's open. So Josh and Chip walk past me because they're going to Chip's house to take some stuff back. And as Chip walks past, he goes, here you go, Gore, mate. You forgot these two condoms. Out loud. So my parents could hear because, you know, he thought that'd be funny, making it awkward for me when I have to go and sit in the car for 30 minutes back to my house. Cheers, Chip. It didn't really bother me, though, because one, I was kind of tipsy at this point because I've been drinking with the guys, and also because my parents were pretty relaxed, so, you know, stuff like that doesn't really... It's not uh, it's not as an awkward topic as it would be with more sh kind of stricter parents, so... Anyway, that was... that For most people, that would have been embarrassing. For me, it wasn't too bad, but, yeah, I just thought I'd tell that little story because it was kind of funny. Well done, Chip. You got me there, mate. I'll get you back. Don't you worry. Also, i got four condoms now, bitch. You don't have any. Right, second to last question is from Alpha Santa, or Alpha Assassin. Uh, you know, changing his Twitter name to the kind of Christmassy theme. Where's my present, scrub? You promised me an illustrious cock. <laughs> yep, that's my question if I'm not late. Um, sorry, John. D did you not get it in the mail? Like, I chopped it off. Yeah, de definitely, definitely chopped it off. It, it should be there. I even wrapped it in a bit of bacon for you. Fuck, thank you. <laughs> the final question is from Arise, who says, Prob's way too late, but have you missed me, daddy? With some emojis there. 
Yes, Arise. I know you've probably been hibernating because whilst it was summer here in England, uh, it was winter over there in Australia for you guys. So you've probably hibernating. I imagine that's what most people do in winter, right? Most Australians kind of hibernate in winter, probably. I don't know. Animals do that. Beasts do that like yourself. So yeah, it's good to see you again, Arise. Good to, uh, you know, speak to you in the DMs again. We'll have to start making more content together, dude, because it's been a very long time indeed. But there you go, guys. That was my Christmas-y-ish Q&A. A little bit late, but there you go. Hope you did enjoy it. Thank you for all the questions and getting involved with this video. If you're new and you have enjoyed it, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate that a lot. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.